Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday morning, June 2nd, and it's late in the morning. I don't even know what time it is. Let's see. 11.27 a.m. It's almost lunchtime, and we're just getting started. <laughs> but we had a long, tiring day yesterday. My husband, because he was traveling all day, me, because I had to get take him to the airport, so, you know, and pick him up. Anyway, we're going to head over to Costco. We need to get some stuff over there, some groceries. The kids are coming over for dinner tonight, and I ain't got a clue what I'm going to feed them. So, and, yeah, so that's a thing. And uh, in case you haven't noticed in past videos, I have very sensitive skin, and I have, like, red spots frequently that pop up, especially post-menopause, and they turn into, um, like, scabby sores. And this would be why I don't use new skincare products often or masks or anything on my face. See all of this? Yeah. Popped up uh, in the last like 48 hours after I used a new thing on my face. So yeah, fun times. So if you see this in a video, yeah, I have super sensitive skin. Anyway, it hasn't gotten better with menopause. It's only gotten worse. All right. We are going to get our day started and go over to Costco. I guess we're having lunch of Costco snacks. Maybe. All right. I'll be back. I'm not sure what we're thinking. Big box warehouse, uh, gro um, well, grocery store. Grocery right? store. Yeah. Called Costco for those who aren't in the U.S. and aren't unfamiliar. On Sunday is pure madness. There is so many people here. It's hard to get, even get in the parking lot. Even in... Little Podunk, uh, Oregon. Even in, yeah, the teeny little suburb that we live in in Oregon. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. Yeah. We're insane. I hope they at least have good snacks today. Yes. Um, <laughs> I, I need some snacks. Yeah, it's lunchtime. So lunchtime. We're, we're, oh, that's the other mistake we made. We came hungry. <laughs> we're hangry. We're hangry, yeah. So anyway, we're going to try to hit the farmer's market on the way home too. So we'll bring you when we can. I'll be back. Good morning. It's Monday morning, June 3rd. Don't get all excited. It's already after 9 a.m. I've been downstairs on the tablets, um, watching YouTube and stuff. I already know what the day is. Uh, I don't remember exactly how much after 9 a.m. it is, like 9.17 or something, but I do know it's June 3rd. Anyway, my asthma's a little bit off today, so I might need to take an allergy pill, but anyway, as you can see, we're vlogging for once. After I've taken a shower and I'm already dressed, I'm not in my pajamas. Woo! -hoo! I think I've spent the morning doing everything I should be, uh, I, every, doing everything except what I should be doing, which is editing video. Okay, I'm back upstairs and I'm allowing myself to be distracted and I did another sewing project. I know, right? So, there was a video that I saw this morning. As I was seeing it in my recommendeds on YouTube, a friend of mine sent me the link and said, hey, did you see this? So anyway, I was meant to see it today. Um, I'll link it in the description below. She made a sort of a paper trim on the sewing machine with scrap of papers and scraps. I did it, but only with fabric. I know, right? Um, so, yeah. And I got... Another paper clip done. And I got my next artist trading card done. There will be a video compilation on these. Um, I don't know if it'll be once a week or if I'm just gonna save it all and do it at the end of the month. I don't know yet right now. Um, and then I also sewed a bunch of scraps of fabric I've had. I mentioned this earlier. I actually started the center portion of this um, back when I lived in California still and then never did anything with it but was still saving the fabric scraps. So I took it today and now my scrap bin is not completely empty but it's virtually empty. It was puffy and overflowing before and it's not that big on purpose because if I let it be too big I'm just gonna not ever do anything with the scraps so literally literally my fabric scrap bin is this big and it was like jammed overflowing spilling onto the sewing desk it was crazy 
So anyway, now it's, that's all that's left in it now. Just a few big, actually kind of big pieces that probably should be put away with the rest of the fabric. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning, June something. Oh, one, two, three, fourth, I think. It's already pretty late. It's technically still morning. Oh yeah, but it's 11.28. Um, I've been up this morning for hours, obviously. Um, doing the social media thing, chatting with friends, um, working on some stencil inventory stuff, ordering a bunch of currently unpublished designs. Price for that's gonna sting, ouch. So I'd appreciate it if you all start shop in the Etsy shop. Um, hopefully by the time you all see this, some or all of the designs will be, um, stent new stencil designs will be in stock. Um, if they're not, they will be shortly, but some of the old ones are back in stock. So the link is in my link tree list of links in the description below, so go check it out. Um, wow, anyway, it's helpful if I remember the list off the refrigerator. Is it a full moon? Because yeah, anyway, I'll be back. So we're out for an evening walk and Bob's been looking for the King, what is this, King City Park? Community Park. Community Park. Yep. He's been looking for it for a few weeks now. He found it once by accident and then couldn't find it again. Anyway, we found it. It's not far from the house and look. <laughs> this is what we live next to. Pretty cool. Good morning. Sorry for the horrible light right here. <laughs> it is 9.25 a.m. Wednesday, June 5th. I am obviously dressed and in the car. Uh, way to state the obvious. Uh, anyway, I am, I've already done the social media posts and stuff for the day. Checked on all the online stores and stuff like that. Um, except for Teespring and some of the other merch sites, which I still have to do. And I need to update the website. But first, we are headed out to McCann's. I need to drop off a graduation card, card for um, mailing to one of my cousin's daughters, Catherine. I can't believe you're graduating high school. Oh my God. Where did the time go? Anyway, she's graduating high school and headed off to college. I think UC San Diego, maybe. If you're seeing this clip, you've already seen the clip where I was cutting these pattern pieces out. So I got this new pattern I got on Etsy. And as we, we, like you're here to help me. I wish you were here to help me. Um, as I make a couple of tops from the pattern, I will give you my opinion about it. But at first blush, it looks really good. So the um, pattern is by Hey June Patterns. And it's the Santa Fe top. Here's the picture of the pattern. Now this pattern has six different views. Whoop, there you go. Of uh, options that you can do with this pattern. 
which I am interested in. I'm going to make this one for sure. That's right up my alley. But the, you see the one that's here with the sleeves? But I'm going to make it without the seam in the front. Just one piece. You know, I have an idea for using some of the knit scraps and putting to them together in sort of a mosaic-y pattern. And then that would be a great basic pattern to cut that out of. So, yeah. So what I'm going to do right now is I printed the front of the pattern and this part that has um, the views and sizing information and fabric requirements on it. Um, two pages to one sheet so that I can glue it to the outside of the envelope. Here are the instructions. It seems to be a very detailed pattern, which includes uh, printing instructions and printing options. So you can do like I did and use a copier or your home printer to print out the pages, um, or the pattern pieces on standard copy paper. Or you can, she has a couple pages at the end of the pattern that you can take just those I want to say six pages and take them to the office supply store one that has a large plotter type printer and have them print those sheets for you I chose to just do it at home it's easier so um, and that's the clip that you saw so I've got them all taped together so what we're gonna do for right now because I'm not gonna really cut the pattern out today but I did want to get it put together because that was sort of a daunting task or at least I thought it was gonna be I think it was easier than I thought it was gonna be I'm going to kind of stack these in some kind of semi-random order that makes sense. Um, she also gives you options in the pattern for only printing the size that you're interested in making. The pattern does come from small, I'm sorry, extra small to 2x. And all the sizes are included in the one pattern. And then in her instructions she has... Um, pretty clear, easy to follow instructions for only printing the size that you want to make instead of all of them. Random piece of paper. Um, I'm, I'm pretty impressed so far. Again, we haven't made the pattern yet, so you know, we shouldn't rush to judgment, but holy cow. I hope this all fits in the envelope, otherwise, I'm going to need a bigger envelope. We'll see how flat I can get it. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Is that all of it? Sort of. Okay. Holy moly. All right. Let's see what we can do about folding it. Holy cow. I'm going to need my bone folder for this. It's a lot of paper. Seriously, where's my bone folder? So I've had another pretty good day. I um, was chatting with my friends online. I think I mentioned that earlier. And um, then I went and mailed the graduation card and then I came back and was chatting with them some more. I did get some chores done. I also have so far managed to get projects done, which is great. This is not gonna fit in that envelope. Um, I've managed to get some projects done, which is great. Um, I need a bigger envelope. Uh, I've gotten my artist trading cards done every day so far. I've gotten some paper clips done every day so far. Let me get a bigger envelope, hang on. We'll just keep going progressively bigger till I find an envelope it fits in. <laughs> I could have just cut out the pieces that I knew I was gonna make, but I chose to do all of them, cut out and print, because it fits in. Uh, because, you know, I don't know in the future which ones I'm going to want to make or not. So I'd rather print them now and then not have to worry about it and have them all in the envelope. Put the instructions in there. Or as my husband would call them, destructions. <laughs> um, let's see. All right. That'll work. Then we're going to cut out this. stick I tend to do this whether it's a pattern I've drafted myself or one I've downloaded I put them in some kind of envelope or file system generally I 
like everything else in your art room, it's just going to keep it neat and clean and easy to find all the pieces. And that being said, um, when I want to make this, I can easily look at the envelope and know how much fabric I'm going to need. And it says it takes all views and sizes require 1.75 yards of knit fabric, um, which is not, that's not much. I'm using an old envelope. There we go. So that works. So now we have the Santa Fe, oh, that's mailing labels that are going to take that off there. All right. The Santa Fe top pattern. So now I am ready to cut it out. It's going to be a little while before I cut it out, but again, I wanted to get it assembled so that I could cut it out. Um, like one of the afternoons, like today, after I'm done doing my coins and everything else, I can push everything to the side, which is what I've done here uh, on the table. Everything's that way. <laughs> um, and then maybe cut out some of the fabric I've got five, six, seven cuts of fabric I need to cut out. Like maybe one top out of each and then whatever scraps are left over. We're gonna, I think we're gonna do some kind of mosaic thing. So um, there are different weights of knit though, so I will do all the thin ones together and all the thicker ones together. So see what happens, it'll be interesting. All right, um, I think that's it for today. It's kind of a dark, cloudy, drizzly day it's not really raining hard but it's drizzly uh the internet's kind of been foggy it's been kind of weird i was having trouble loading and scheduling a video to the youtube group that i teach in my creative year i tried since yesterday and i tried like eight times finally out of the blue i thought oh, i'll just try one more time and it went through but i don't know what the deal was it, it was within the time limit file size was fine i have no idea but it finally went through and then i was chatting on zoom this morning with said friends and i finally had to get off after being on with them uh, later in the day because my internet suddenly was choppy and freezing and it was very weird so I don't know what's up with this. It's been a weird day. It's like it's a full moon or something. I don't know. It's really odd. Anyway, all right. That's it for the moment. I don't know what's on the plate for tomorrow. Except more art. It's not a bad thing. All right, I'll be back. say good morning but it's already after lunch <laughs> what have I been doing a lot of nothing well that's
Hey guys, it is Friday, June 7th, 1246 p.m., just after lunch. Don't get all excited. I've already tried to film this three times, so I've checked. Anyway, um, there will be probably video shares coming out of at least of the ATC, um, all the ATC cards, because I've been filming um, a share. I'm not filming a tutorial, but it's just a share. Uh, anyway, um, so there'll be some kind of thing with all 30 days of June ATC cards. And if you want one on the paper clips, um, a share, I can do that too. Um, the paper clips are inspired by Lolly Palooza's um, YouTube channel and Facebook group. I'll link her channel in the description below. She does a lot of different like swaps and groups and things, and um, paper clips are one of them. And I also did some more little halfway art bundles inspired by my own video on halfway art called halfway art and um, I saw in the last like two days I've seen a video by treasured books I think she called them collage bundles or art bundles I don't remember and then Robin Marie Smith treasured books videos on YouTube and so I'll try to link it below Robin Marie Smith's channel um, I'll link below she has a, I think a paid for class um, making some sort of collage bundle embellishment thing. I don't honestly remember what she calls them, um, but she does have a class on it. I don't think it's on YouTube, um, but I'll link her channel below. Anyway, I was reminded by or inspired by all of those things to do some more of them, and I thought it might be a great way to use up some of the million little pieces of scraps that are still on my art desk. And so I did that today. I got a lot of stuff done today. Um, my mom is coming on Sunday and I'm helping her with um, some projects for uh, my niece's baby. So I need to clear off the sewing tape, I mean the work table upstairs yeah. tomorrow so that we can do the sewing on Sunday. Oh. Right now Fred is gonna go donate blood. I'm not, not after what happened last. I'm gonna, yeah, take a break if I ever do it again. He's gonna go donate blood. I'm gonna read and then we're gonna go get barbecue. Right? Right. I got it on camera, see? Yay. Right. I'll Fred's, be back. Fred's Good morning, so everybody. Right. Say hi, Fred. Hi, Fred. Fred <laughs> says hi. We are headed into Sherwood, um, Oregon. They have a car car show. What is it? It's called Cruising Sherwood 2019. We're going to that. Not cruising. Cruising. Cruising no without G. the G. No G. Cruising. Okay. It's on hot rods, right? It's ca it's a classic hot cars. rod and classic car show. We're going to that. In Old Town Sherwood. So we're going to go to that and then we're going to run some errands and if we see anything cool, of course, we'll bring you with us. So we'll be back. Hey guys, it is Saturday evening, June 8th. I almost said June 10th. It's just after 10 o'clock. I almost forgot to close the vlog again. <laughs> Um, anyway, it's been a fun day. We spent a lot of time today at the car show, uh, Cruise in Sherwood. I think that was the name of it. Anyways, um, that was a lot of fun. There's a lot of pictures, uh, from the car show, which I will insert now for you all. I do have a little videotape, uh, videotape, hello. <laughs> I do have a little video, um, that if you're watching this, you probably saw that. If it was any good, I left it in. If it was, if you didn't see it, it's because it was crap and I cut it out. Um, anyway, we had a lot of fun with that. We planned on doing some other stuff, but we spent so much time walking around Sherwood and getting steps in and seeing all the really cool old cars that um, we were exhausted by the time we were done. So we went to the grocery shop store and grocery shopping and then came home. Um, and we've been home doing stuff around the house ever since. And now um, A Star is Born is on downstairs. So uh, we're watching that and just wrapping up the evening. I need to post all my evening social media posts and 
then I'm done for the day. Um, so it's been a good one. It's been a fun, weird, interesting, strange week. Um, <laughs> I hope you've had a good one. It's, um, it's been an odd week. But anyway, my parents are coming by tomorrow and I'm gonna help my mom with another sewing project. And probably while the table is cleared off, I'm gonna get some sewing projects cut out that I wanna do for myself that I've been putting off because there's other stuff on the table. But the table will be cleared off tomorrow so I'll probably get that done. I may draft a pattern too. I have a pair of pants downstairs that I wanna try making. So I may try my hand at drafting another pattern so we'll see what happens with that. Uh, that's it for right now. If you would uh, like to uh, like, share, and subscribe, I sure would appreciate that. I'll leave any relevant links in the description below. If you're watching this on a device that doesn't allow you to see the video description, the links are here and they are there. They are uh, in the description. If you go to a computer device, you can see them. If you all have a need for me to create some of a, some kind of a thing on the screen here with links. I don't even know if I can do that, but if I can, would you be interested in that? Anyway, um, the video, the links for the, any relevant links are in the description below. Uh, if you can't see them on the device you're watching, like if you're watching on TV, then um, they are here. So when you get onto your computer or your telephone or your tablet, um, you can get the links then. Uh, what else? Uh, in the description below is my happy mail address. My link tree list of links is down there, which includes all the places you can find me on social media. So if you want to see the art I post every day, like to Instagram and Twitter, go look in, in the link tree list of links because the, the um, places where you can find me on both of those apps are in there along with my Facebook groups and a bunch of different places you can support the free content here on YouTube and over in Facebook, including my Etsy shop, Teespring, Mer I should say merch over at Teespring, Society6, and Redbubble. You can get my art on fabric over at Spoonflower. There's like a lot of places. Go check it out. I constantly am losing track of what's where. That's it, I think. My happy mail address is down there too, should you say, choose, to, choose to send me any. Can you tell it's late in the day? Hello. Should you choose to send me any happy mail, yeah, my address is in the description below. That's it for now. It is really late. I need to get those posts done so I can get my butt to bed, I think. <laughs> There's a lot going on tomorrow. So I'm going to go do that. You all have a great day. Have a great week. Go do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.